this is so totally off the normal. This has got nothing to do with diving <laughs> or budget travel. But I have a friend who keeps asking me for how I do my layered salads. And so here it goes. I'm going to show you my secrets. Okay, this is one of the first secrets. I use a single-use disposable Ziploc bag. I cut a little tiny hole in the end right there. And right now it's resting in my freezer so it can stay pretty hard. And that way I can spread the sour cream into the bowl. Okay, so I spread sour cream into the bowl in an up and down pattern. I've learned over time that works much better for making your black olives look pretty presentable. And uh, I can say I made this salad myself because I had to cut the black olives myself. Haha. -ha. Okay, next step. All right, next step. And of course, I can't like do the steps and do it at the same time. But next step is to put a little bit of a layer of lettuce to hold everything in place. Okay, so now I need to look at colors and figure out what color needs to go next, if it's orange or if it's red. I think I'm gonna go next with red, so I'm gonna chop up some tomatoes and put them around the outside edge. All right, so now we've got some color contrast going on between the sour cream and the black olives and the red tomatoes. So next is gonna be to put some more lettuce in the middle so that it can stand up to the next layer. And I think what I'll put around the outside edge is some cheese, and that way I'll have another color going on. Okay, so the cheese kind of overpowered the red of the tomato, so I know next time to do a deeper layer of tomato. Next is gonna be some salsa and then some more sour cream. All right, I put a little bit of salsa in there. It looks a little bit messy, so I'm gonna run a spatula around the edge. And then I think next I better go for some guacamole. Um, salsa is running through the cheese as well so my colors are kind of blending all right so I have loaded up some guacamole in a single-use plastic bag and in my defense normally I would use wax paper for this it works just fine you just make a funnel and then squeeze it through but in this case I've got some bags that I just don't use because I haven't been using plastic much and I want to get rid of them and so next is going to be guacamole layer there's my guacamole layer I'm really, I can really see the white layer, I can see the black olives, I am really losing the cheese and the tomato in between, but I think it's going to be okay. It's all looking kind of Christmassy, and I've got to grab the sour cream out of the freezer because I don't want it to freeze, and I think I need to put another layer of cheese just to break up the colors and more lettuce in the middle. This is the progression. All right, more cheese. And I need to do another layer of sour cream so that I can kind of frame the black olives. I've got plenty of black olives left. Sour cream's been in the freezer, so it's getting hard. And another note is if you have really chunky guacamole, you have to cut a slightly larger hole or make a bigger hole so it'll go through your bag. That's looking pretty festive. Colors are looking pretty good. Got some interesting squiggles there. You really do have to press down on the black olives. You kind of have to push them to the outside and then press down where you get a bit of foggy stuff like right there. It looks a lot prettier if you do it like this, but I'm not going to slide down to clean that up. I think more guacamole and then more red stuff. Yep, we need more salsa. Quick rundown of what I used. I used about three quarters of a can of pitted olives that I sliced myself because I wanted to regulate the thickness of the slices. I used two Roma tomatoes because I prefer their color and their flavor. I used probably about a half of a container of sour cream. I used a whole one of the six ounce containers of guacamole and I used it looks like almost half of one of those packages of spring mix, the kind of big package. I'm going to put some more cheese on top now, so I would say probably used almost a cup of cheese. So it doesn't take a whole lot of ingredients, and it just looks really special. I mean, it's just a salad, but it looks really special once you get it all put together. Here's the finished product. Came out looking pretty good. I will tell you, I have used different things before. I've cut up avocados. I have even... Um, Gosh, I've put corn in these. I've made cornbread to put on top of them. I've done all different things to set so this them up. one is sort of a southwestern style, I would say. And I've put different things in these before. I have put 
canned corn, I have put canned black beans, I have cut up guacamole, I have put all different things. Really the thing is just if you layer it and put it together it looks really nice. The last thing, last tip is I've left it a little bit mounted up at the top. That's because I'm going to be putting this lid on and once I put the lid on then I want it to crush down a little bit so it's good for transportation. It's headed to a St. Augustine Sailing Sisters holiday uh, festive dinner and I want it to be pretty much locked in for transportation in the car. And then once I get there, I'll pull the lid off. And then the very last thing is I have some of these tortilla strips that you can get in the salad department. And I'll just sprinkle this on the top and it will be done. So here it is, fast and easy. I think you can do this in under 30 minutes and it doesn't take a whole lot of supplies. As long as you put it in there, it looks pretty good. Look how pretty. And then you might want to take with you a set of tongs and you kind of do like a core sample you take a chunk down like that so there it is just a trifle bowl use i'll leave a link to the bowl below all right there it is all packed up for transportation because of the unique shape of the trifle bowl it has a lot of dead space underneath which is great if you're carrying other things in this case from back in the day, we used to use water bottles. We don't anymore, but we've got a few left, and those have frozen water in them to use as temporary ice. I'm going to put in here a set of tongs, and voila, we are ready to go. Okay, so there's the final with the strips on it. It's a really good thing that I got a picture of the trifle bowl set up early because look at that, demolished pretty soon. This was for a gathering of our St. Augustine Sailing Sisters, a group of ladies who all sail together and encourage other women to become active in the sailing community. Yes, there are even some members who are guys, and this was our first ever get-together for a Christmas holiday festive event. There was a lot of food. There was even a Secret Santa gift exchange with lots of funny prizes and a few protests, as is usual in the sailing world. Speaking of the sailing, we get together a couple times a year for races, one in the spring and one in the middle of the summer, and all of the proceeds from our races go to the charity that we choose for that year. In the past, we have chosen Betty Griffin House for victims of domestic abuse, and we have also chosen Rethreaded for victims of the sex trafficking trade. So those are the goals of our St. Augustine Sailing Sisters, and it was just great fun to get together at Brianne and Justin's house and bring in the holidays. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!